demonstrate how the automatic, uh, how the queue, queue system works. This is the queuing and the queue number is shown in the LED 7 segment and there's a speaker which emits music. So the, the doctor can increase the queue number by pressing scroll up or scroll down. Assuming we press scroll up, the number increases from 1 to 2 and the music goes off and the light blinks after that. Mm. And that controls the queuing system. Demonstrate the automatic door system. This is the door. There's a sensor outside on the outer side and there's a sensor on the inner side. Mm. So assuming that the patient is walking from inside the room and the, and the sensor is cut, the door opens outwards. And when the patient cuts the outside sensor, the door closes back. Now, assuming that the patient walks inside, the other way around, the door opens in the opposite direction and closes when the inside sensor is cut. And the music goes off. Now, assuming that the door is open and left open for more than uh, some preset amount of time, it will automatically close. The warning light will go off and the door will automatically close. As you can see. Now we will demonstrate that thing again. And assuming the patient is in midway through the door and the warning light goes off, there's an emergency push button which the patient can press, which turns off the automatic closing system. The, the auto shut will go off again after a preset amount of time. And that concludes the automatic door system. automatic patient identification system using a patient tag which is a RFID tag this is the RFID reader when, when the patient cuts it through the patient's details appear on the LCD screen and the doctor can scroll for the patient's previous details by pressing 5 the symptoms diagnosis and medication is shown the details can also be scrolled in the opposite direction High fever, symptoms and medication These are the previous uh, history of the patient And it will be also updated in our uh, Automatic patient medication prescription system Where the patient's uh, photo and the name is shown It will ask us to confirm We can confirm the patient's detail by clicking yes And that concludes the automatic patient identification system Alright, this is the SMS alert system. Basically, um, I'll be receiving a patient code from uh, Adai subsystem and then it will send out a corresponding SMS to the correct patient. Okay, first, um, you need to reset this system. Uh, you just need to run the Python program. Then, uh, basically, you put the system into system standby. Okay, in this case, it's a loaded already. So now, uh, Adai can send. Okay, now we'll... Uh the patient can opt for an auto for a optional SMS reminder system. To access the SMS reminder system, we press number six, and it asks to choose before meals or after meals. It can be toggled by pressing the same button before meals or after meals. Assuming we want to send a before meal SMS reminder to this patient, we click send, and the SMS is being sent through the wireless system to the farm, uh, to the central processing area. So this is the SMS alert system, alright, um, once uh, the doctor sends over the patient code, uh, the subsystem will receive it via a radio frequency RF, the RF module, right? Okay, so uh, now Ada is going to send over the patient, and you can see it will be... Okay, you can see that it received the reminder as SMS. And the SMS is sent already. Okay, and the LED light will light go on when it's sending the SMS and go off when the SMS is sent. Uh, Kali is simulated by using this handphone. And you can see uh, when you unlock it. 
right? Basically, the message okay. will say, Carly, take one capsule before meals. Uh, basically, um, another function is that you can request for assistance. Uh, this system we place near the pill dispenser, so if a patient has any inquiries, you can just press this green button to request for assistance. Okay, and basically, it will say assistance requested, and an uh, SMS will be sent out. Uh, this is to um, this is the technician's handphone. Basically, receive an SMS saying assistance requested. the environmental monitoring device mm -hmm. which monitors the humidity and the temperature of the pill dispenser. Okay, so what we're going to test now is to start the system. So at this point of time, the temperature and the humidity is um, within the threshold. So now to set it off, you just again for air. And then now the humidity warning and the temperature warning has gone off. At the same time, uh, SMS has been sent to the technician to inform the technician of um, the increase in humidity and temperature. So this is the technician's phone. Alright. Okay, you can read. See, it says that the ambient temperature of the auto farm has exceeded the suitable level. And the next one says that ambient humidity has exceeded the suitable level. So this is the environmental monitoring system.